Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to talk about one thing that I was very, very bad about procrastinating on getting done and putting it off, putting it off until I realized this one key factor and I went ahead and did it. And I advise you guys to go and get it done as well. If you have a kayak that you're putting a trolling motor on and put any type of motor on, you wanna go ahead and get it registered. I put it off for a bit and then I realized, um, I realized the cost of a ticket versus the cost of actually taking it to the Texas Parks and Wildlife and uh, getting it registered. I'm gonna put a link in the description below so that you can see um, all of the registration requirements and the uh the cost and the fees and versus the tickets and everything i'll, I'll put the links to the website down below so the fine for uh well one of the fines and, and they could possibly find you for more if they did catch you but the unregistered vessel fine is 250 and i paid 127 in total to get my kayak registered now when i looked it up i thought it would be a lot cheaper but when i got there there were other fines and fees included so i'm um, telling you guys you might want to take about 200 dollars in cash to the texas parks and wildlife uh, office building they don't take credit card or debit card i'm not sure if they take debit card but i don't think they take card at all uh, they want you to bring cash or check so either be prepared to have cash on you or be prepared to go to the ATM uh, or bring a checkbook. So there are a few things that you're gonna need to get your kayak registered. You need your bill of sale, which I got that, I bought my kayak from Academy and they printed up a bill of sale, signed it and everything. Uh, they also gave me, they were, you know, they, they did really well in setting me up to make it easy for me to get this thing registered. So again, I don't know why I put it off at all. But you're getting the bill of sale. Of course, you need to take your state ID in. You're going to need an application, the vessel registration application. Again, I'll put the link for that in the description below as well. Um, and if not, you can actually pick that up inside the, inside the office uh, at the Texas Parks and Wildlife what I said, like Academy was so wonderful when I bought my kayak, they filled out the application for me and they gave me the bill of sale. Basically I had to walk in there, hand them the papers with my ID. I had to leave and get cash cause I don't carry cash on me. I had to go and get cash and come back. But I was able to just walk in, hand them that stuff and was out of there in no time. Um, it's not that hard people. On location, you receive a few documents uh, and you get your stickers and everything. You wait to receive in the mail your certificate of title. They assign you a number that day as well. So, uh, and I didn't know this until for a while after, until I was getting ready to actually make this video that um, you have to put your own numbers on there. So you have to, like, you have to supply your own numbers. They assign you a number at the office and then you have to, you're responsible for getting that number in like sticker form and putting it on the kayak. I'm getting ready to go take you guys outside and uh, show you how we, are gonna put those on in the proper placement for it as well. I just got on Amazon, ordered the stickers. Is there, there's a, a few shops you can get them from, whatever on Amazon, and they just, you tell them, punch in what your number is, and they send it to you and with the proper space and the lettering that you need. Uh, you can, and then you can get it custom, custom done, customly made. You can write it yourself, uh, just, it has to be uh, up to standards for the Texas Parks and Wildlife Code. Uh, so let's get on outside and uh, check out how to get these stickers on. And uh, again, do not procrastinate on this, guys. Well, as you guys can see, I still got all the stickers from when I purchased the damn car yet. You know. And, uh, never mind the mess. Kayak's a bit junky because you can tell I fish on it. And uh, this little piece right here is from the fish snapped me off the last time I was out. Just snap my rod. Stay down. Ooh. Oh shit, my rod just broke. That's crazy. Whoa. That's crazy. This thing just broke my rod. He just snapped. He was barely hooked too, guys. Dang, he was barely hooked. Snapped my rod. Whew. What a catch, though. Oh, that's a nice fish. 
We'll get rid of him. And he's out. Well, let's get to the sticker placement. Putting these stickers on. So that's the front of the kayak. To the left is your port. To the right is your starboard. On the port side, you want numbers first, sticker second. Starboard, you want sticker first, numbers follow. So now that I've placed this on here, and the neat thing, they got this evenly spaced to where, you know, I don't have to worry about the spacing on it. They had it spaced properly. And they even left a little tag space on the end so where I can stick my sticker tag. Now, let's peel this off. Oh, that didn't come up. This is supposed to clean the surface first. Smart guy. Now guys, there's one thing that I forgot on that side that's imperative that you do, and I'm gonna be sure to do it on this side. Don't be like me, guys. Don't forget to clean the surface. That way the sticker will stick. I didn't clean the surface, and now I'm having a hard time on that side getting the uh, sticker to actually stick to the surface. It's actually wanting to peel back up because it's dirty. Naturally, it's dirty because I've been using the kayak. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't be like me, guys. Not too worried about this sticker, but it's these guys that I'm worried about coming up. But they won't, they're not even sticking. So I think I'm gonna take a squeegee and get deep down in there, something. I'll take me a credit card and just. Well, we got a little action. Seem to want to come back up now, guys. I implore you to make sure you clean the surface, and it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt to squeegee that thing on either. But that looks good. Hopefully, it stays. I think it will. Let's get to the other side. I got this side nice and clean, and uh, we're gonna try to go parallel with the other side. So. Again, I'm not really worried about this one. It's got some nice glue on it. But I do have this side nice and clean, so we can go ahead and... All right, got that stuck on there. All right, got that all lined up and squeegeed on. Time to peel. Oh no, I ripped the K. Haste makes waste, guys. All done, and now we are legit. And we don't have to worry about getting no tickets for unregistered vehicle or improper stickers or whatever other fines they tend to want to throw at you. Well, guys, hopefully that was very informational for you guys and very helpful. Don't make the mistakes uh, that I made. Hope you know you guys can learn from my mistakes. Again, I make the mistakes so you guys don't have to. Um, you know, just make sure that surface is clean and. You know, any other foul ups that I did, you know, just, you know, take your time, get it done right. It's actually quite fun when you do it. Uh, but I guess I was in a hurry trying to make this video and, you know, just being hasteful and just, you know, just trying to pretend like I knew it all. But hey, like I said, I make the mistakes so you guys don't have to. If I was any help to you today and uh, you enjoyed my content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comment. Uh, it's always good to uh, get the discussion going and get involved with, with people that are viewing my videos. Hope you guys have a not so complicated time getting your kayaks registered. And uh, as always, till next time, guys, never let up.